Hey guys, still there and welcome back to what is already the 20th episode of this series. We're driving along with a truck that's currently dropping off more of the coffee beans at this intermittent depot where it's going to get picked up and the... Uh, actually it's, it's carrying coffee beans, not berries. It's going to pick up another haul of coffee be uh, berries and transport those back. Now it turns out that this is actually a route that is uh, vastly underutilized because there is a lot of stuff that needs transporting. And my trucks don't really carry that much. So it's time to upgrade this line. Make sure there's a lot more vehicles running around. That's going to then produce a lot more food. And the food is already actually a bit uh, too high. The uh, amount that's being transported. So I need to transport or I need to just add a few more trucks there. So let's uh, duplicate all of the lines. Since they have been proven profitable I can just click the duplicate button. That's one. That's two. And then the final one, that's this one. That's three. Oh, sorry, that was just the one. There we go. That should keep this line quite profitable indeed. And more importantly, give Asa the food that it needs. And we already have our actual little uh, high building over here, high residential building. So probably the land value is going up pretty quick. Which also builds up bigger commercial buildings, which then, of course, demand more stuff. So it's going to be a sort of self-growing prophecy. Now, as I can see also becoming a new hub over here, I'm going to quickly upgrade some of the roads to have a um, large street instead of a standard one. And at points, let's see, does it upgrade this everywhere? Yeah, that stops everywhere. That's a bit overdone. Uh, yes, I want a bus lane and yes, I want a tram track here. Because I'm going to immediately start building a ring road. Same like what I did in uh, Amsterdam. Making sure that I can still transport everybody. And I'm not going to so much immediately set this, uh, set this thing up just yet. But when the town starts to seriously grow, I am probably going to be happy that I actually did this early. Instead of with Amsterdam, where I did it late and it just got really quite expensive. Let's upgrade this street and that street. Oh, sorry, that's a bus tool. Uh, this one. And then that one. I can upgrade this bit. This section, probably not so much, but then again, I'm not really expecting that much traffic here. So now we have our little ring road around Asse. And Asse is projected to go to 332 residents. Traffic is classed as good, minus 10% though. Uh, it's the only connection road-wise that it has with Drachten. And currently I'm, well actually I'm not seeing any civilian vehicles beyond my own. Really? Yeah. So it's like they're not using it. Which is peculiar. I had expected them to actually start using that road. Anyway, um, this line, the uh, Ossen to uh, Bolsvart, is a bit busy. And that goes for quite a few of those stations. So I'll set up a new line. Or, no, not a new line. I'll uh, just make sure there's more vehicles over here. This is the newer line, the uh, Ossen to Stavoren line. But it's this one that needs, well, probably at least one more train. Maybe two. Let's see. Over here we should be getting a lot more berries and as such beans in return. Yeah, these guys are trying to drop it off. This one's trying to pick it up. I don't know why it's taking this long to load it though. So you can see that it's over here. It's dropping something off and then loading on something else. Oh, right. And then they pick it up. Gotcha. Oh, we got a collision here. Trains 11 and 14. Train 11, currently en route to Drachten, is about to collide with train 14, which is waiting to go to Asse. Yeah. I can see why that would be a problem. Because you are kindly using the wrong terminal there, son. Uh, on the way there... Let's see. 
I know that the uh, uh, the line to there works to Bolsvart. It's just the other one that's causing interference. This one, it goes directly in the opposite way. And that's probably because I have these things switched. So this one is going to go to terminal one and uh, that's coming back. This is going out. That's going to go to terminal two. Does that fix it? Not quite yet. Because now it knows that it's on the wrong track, but now it cannot get to the right side. So if I set up the cross point here, the train should be able to start moving and sort out the conflict. It is saying I have a problem. It's probably because it's doing the same damn thing here. Yeah, I need to switch these around. So this is going to go to terminal two. No, ter yeah, terminal two, and that's going to go to terminal one. So you are actually on the wrong side of the tracks as well. So, state your intent. <clears throat> You're going to load up the passengers. Oh, look, they're actually using the overpass. Oh, that's really neat. <laughs> I guess they're now figuring. Oh, crap. We are on the wrong side of the tracks. So here goes the skunk. And I'm expecting it to transit over to the other side. Yes, very good. There we go. Now I'm not seeing any more interference here. Trains. Perfect. All going the same way. Now, also should be getting a decent supply of food now. Plus 30%. Growth, 373. And they immediately built another fairly high-rise building. Especially for 1928. I think this is fairly modern. Uh, including the fact that they already have what could possibly be described as air conditioners on the roof. Right. Today's episodes will revolve around this side here. Lemmer, St. Nicolasga, Heerenveen. Those are going to go here. These are going to get connected here. And we'll have another uh, terminal or slash hub here. Uh, yeah, probably here. Not so much there. So first these two, or these three towns. Connecting these, I'm going to have one train station here, one there, one here, and then we're going to go into Heerenveen. Uh, sorry, into Awesome. I'll also connect roads to make sure that the towns grow even quicker. I won't connect any sort of, uh, let's say, your standard connection with a bus or a tram. At least not between the two towns, three towns. It's mostly so that people, if they really want to, they can use something else than my train. Something other than the train route that I'm about to set up. This is a very short hop. But I know that those trains of mine are able to get up to speed very quick. Oh, crap. Let's do it there. And then start laying tracks again. Ah, oh, shit, I built a singular track station. I should have set that to double. Configure. Tracks, double, double, double. And, nope, that's the wrong one. This one. You're going to tie into that one. It means I'll also have to build another terminal here, another platform. Otherwise, all of this stuff's no good. Uh, yeah, that's that one, I think. I cannot build the... Oh, sorry, no. Yes, no. <laughs> Damn it. No, I cannot build the modern Dutch ones yet. Uh, nor can I build the overpasses yet, so I'm going to have to go with an underpass here. Alright, carrying on. Adjusting this one, Heerenveen. By the way, I haven't forgotten about the rest of the country yet. Don't worry. I know that I still have another uh, area of my transport network and that that might also need a bit more checking in. Uh, at the moment, however, I don't really want to focus on that too much. I want to first get this area developed. And when that is done, I'll look back into the rest of the network. Adjust and upgrade where needed, provided, of course, that I have enough cash. 
and uh, just see if I can connect everything here as well. Just tie everything into one big transport network. Alright, a couple of signals here and there. Of course the game is to autosave at this point. I think that the autosaving is going to take, well, consistently longer because the autosave has to save more. I think my save file is growing bigger every time. But that's just a theory. I haven't actually checked that. Alright, let's just do one segment here. And then all the way over to Austin, where, let's see, I have used one, two, three, four. I want to have another terminal or another line that goes south. So I think this one's just going to sit on the outermost one here. What I ideally want to do late game, and that is like really late game, is to have one high speed line that goes from probably Amsterdam or Amstelveen, as the station is officially called, to Utrecht, and eventually ends up in Asse. So just a... oh, I'm already here. Just a couple of stops, and that will allow people to get quickly from one point to the other. I know that I also have aircraft available, but the aircraft generally are really expensive. Uh, of course, if you fly over greater distances, that will make money. But at the moment, I don't find it too interesting to build yet. I'll definitely do that at some point in this series, provided that it's running long enough. But I think that will not really be a problem. Okay. Uh, yeah, you guys are just going to have to walk a bit. Because I do want a medium street over here. Past the train station. And looping back into here. Uh, can we make that straight? There. Okay, Heerenveen. Pretty easy town. Easy to connect. Done. Color, red, start, stop, done. Uh, each HEE -E, tram. I just hope that I still have enough cash to build all the stuff that I want to build here. Because there is uh, actually quite a lot that I still want to do in this episode. And I'm not sure I have the money for it. Um, country, no, medium street. Have that connected and then probably throw the tram depot if it fits. Arr. Which it doesn't because this road is... Oh shit, I'm building large streets. Am I not? No, I'm building medium streets. Oh, it's not that bad. Alright, first, throw in the tram. And then build the road. Collision! There, that's better. If this is a medium street, then is this a small street? Well, it's possible, I suppose. Alright, from here. Easy money. Directly there. I think that's really all that it needs for now. Oh, we got a new town, a new tram, the Type T1. Damn, this thing can do 60. Color me impressed. I think that's a bit much for in-town operations though. So let's once again go with the Peter. But I do have areas where that tram could become useful. And those are the areas where, well, farther south where I just have a tram that's running back and forth between stations. Right, tram stop. I don't really expect the town to be growing too much towards this side. At least not this time around. Gee, this is a really long town. I think we're gonna have to go with several stops here. Otherwise I probably won't catch it all. There. And start here. One, two, three, four. Connect and done. How am I going to 
do that. S N I, I think, or S T S T N. Tram. Hold on, why is lemur growing? Just a bit of organic growth, I suppose, because that's not something that I had any hand in. Tram depot. Peter Witt, off you go. And finally, Lemmer. Let's make sure this is connected. Like that, and I think just ma down the main street here. Doesn't quite catch everything. Two stops there, one here. One, two, three, back. Hold on. You still need to catch that one. Okay. LEM. Tram. Upgrade the roads. This bit, that bit, that bit. Here, done. Uh, and over here, where would that town want to grow? They might still grow stuff here. So let's make sure that they get the opportunity to do so. No, well, actually, yes. No, no bus line, but yes, I want to keep an electric tram over here. Just to make sure that I can still get that thing. If the town starts to develop here. And then I can set up my depot. I was considering just doing it opposite, but that would kind of block the town from further growth. Okay, now for the train line. I'm not sure how much traffic I should be expecting here. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. Caller. Now, which track are you picking? Okay, you're going on the right side. This is exactly how I had pictured it. Very good. ASS to LEM. The thing is, I will not, in the current configuration, be able to use my train depot all the way over there. Now, I could go for some elaborate train planning over here and just have everything connected. But I really don't want to. I think it's a bit too complex. Especially when you're considering that building a tram depot is just, well, not really that expensive. It's uh, 30k. De well, it depends on where you put it down. Here's 20k. And tie that into that. Let's get one M300 for the moment, because that's all I can afford. Alright, also, you should now be getting more food. There we go, plus 50% growth. And projected is to 475. Drachte is projected 327. Still growing really quick. And I still need a lot more capacity on this line, which is already making me 880,000 a year. Impressive, these things. I like it. Still, it is not enough capacity. Because there is 133 people waiting on this side. Um, we're going to need more trains. And I don't particularly have the budget for that. Now, I don't want to go into debt if I don't have to. So I'm just going to let the game run for a bit. Pause the recording temporarily. And when we have a bit more cash, it's time to get a few more trains over here. Alright, as I was waiting for cash to come in, I decided to take another look at uh, Amsterdam, Amstelveen, and everything in between. It is turning into a really big place. Of course, I still need to adjust these lines, as I've mentioned in the previous, or, or this episode. I need more transport capacity. Um, but look at the size. Hilversum, by the way, which initially had a predicted growth of, I think, 350% is actually getting up to that 900 uh, residents. It's going to go down just a bit, but it's not really nearly as bad as I'd expected, because I thought it was going to go to about, what, 500, 600? It said it was going to grow very rapidly. It didn't. But now it's actually at a fairly respectable 900, and if these towns keep growing the way that they are, Amstelveen, Amsterdam Zuidoost, Hilversum, Amersfoort, Utrecht, Zeist, Nieuwegein, Woerden. We're going to have one gigantic urban area. 
it's going to be absolutely massive. And considering how these towns have also been growing, well, if you just look back to episode one, it is such a dramatic change. It really has been a lot of growth. Because Schiedam, back in the day, it had a population of 139. Now it has a population of 1,228. So this town really grew very, very quickly. Um, interestingly, of course, the emissions start to hamper the growth of the town, pretty much as predicted. The rest of it, um, it can still grow a lot more. If I provide it with, well, I cannot provide it with mail, but I can provide it with construction material, food, goods, and fuel, this town's gonna grow even bigger. The biggest town that I currently have, residence-wise, is Harlem, interestingly. Harlem has the most residents at Fort, oh, hold on. That's not really accurate. It says Harlem has a thousand and nine, yet if I click on it, it says 1,461. That's curious. It's like it's not being updated. Anyway, Harlem has 1,461, but that is just that one town. Um, Amsterdam is consisting of the original Amsterdam, but also New West, Amsterdam Zuidoost, Amstelveen. Uh, although, don't tell that to the people living there that, there's a, that they are a part of uh, Amsterdam, because they might not appreciate that. But this whole urban area is turning into about, well, seven to 10,000 occupants. Here, Zandvoort used to be a pretty small town as well. Used to have 69 residents, just 69 people living there, and now there's 900. Uh, you do realize that, or you, you start to notice that the town is growing upwards and not so much outwards anymore because these buildings start to get really quite tall. Uh, transport capacity for these lines, well, they're just no longer sufficient. So in a future episode, I'm not saying the next one or this, well, definitely not this one, I will have to start working on building more infrastructure in, well, all of the towns. Zandvoort, Hilversum is, sorry, Haarlem is more or less covered. Uh, I still have that weird connection between uh, Amsterdam and Haarlem, which is, which is not being used at all. No, that's not true. It's not being used not at all, but it's definitely not being used very much. Uh, and Haarlem East is no longer an adequate stop here. Right, and I have 6.6 .6 million. Let's go back to the northern area. The new line that I have set up towards Lemmer has a uh, decent amount of people making use of it. It's not really warranted to make a second train uh, attached to this one. But I'm going to just clone this one and have a second train run around to make sure that the people don't have to wait as long. As for the others, well... The one going west, let's say northwest to uh, Bolsward, is definitely going to need more capacity. Fortunately, I have a bit of cash. And that means that I can upgrade some of these trains to have yet another carriage. That's 1.9 million. And this is also going to be 1.9 million. Leaving me with another 500,000 in the bank. But that is fortunately quickly going up. Ooh, lots of stuff. Uh, a new tram, I think. Mo Ford Model 77 truck with side stakes, the tarpaulin truck, and a new train carriage. Quite nice. Now, I've been investing quite a lot lately. Investment, 6.8 million, 8.4 million, 3.5 million, 5.7 million. Uh, logically, I'm not really making that much money. Or at least um, not profitable, that is. But that's mostly because I'm spending so much. The trains on average make uh, somewhere in an upward line. 5.3 million, 6.3, 5.6. So the trains are definitely the ones that are carrying the operation. The road vehicles are doing okay. Um, I don't think you're really going to get rich with road vehicles overall. But look at that. They are bringing in 10.9 million and then have fairly high maintenance costs. Railroads, similar picture, 21 million in tickets, 13 million in maintenance, and then we have maintenance for tracks and 
the rest of the infrastructure, which is basically the stations. Now, one thing I also wanted to do in this episode is connect more of the towns together. So for that, it's time for a couple of country roads. And since I won't be directly profiting off of these, I'm just going to go with a medium country road. Uh, it's more so that these towns will grow because they're going to be connected. And hopefully that will then also provide more passengers for me. So a straight line there. That connects St. Nicolas, Ga, Heerenveen and Snake together. We're going to have a road that goes from here to there. And this will connect Lemmer in as well. Stavore is a bit of a different story, but I might be able to use the existing road here. And loop that past this iron, or sorry, steel mill. And then... Oh, I'm building tram tracks everywhere. Uh, that is really not required. Then over there. So now Stavore is also joined into the network. I can have this road that's already going north to continue that way. I won't use this bit because I think it's a different kind of road. Now I have this set up as a curved road, but for some reason it doesn't really seem to want to curve too much. Uh, these towns. Not connected yet, but they sure as hell are now. I'll set up two connections. And maybe we can sort of entice these towns to start fusing together. So if they will do that, then I might need to adjust this station and have a secondary building. So that on the other side, I'll also have a way to get into the station. That means I'm going to have to set up another road here. Uh, a medium road that passes by the station. And then sort of projecting where the town's going to grow to next. So let's say that this is going to be... Uh, uh, oh crap, that's a, that's a country road. That needs to be a street, not a country road. Medium street. Yeah, like that. And then do an underpass here. Also known as a tunnel. Come on. Really? Let's try that again. Too much slope. What if I try to go over? There. That'll do it. So now people can transit from one side to the next. Then hopefully they're going to go this way as well. Let's see if I can do this as a tunnel. Too much slope. Yeah, I did see one opportunity there. What is it colliding with? I don't quite get that. Because this road is not that aggressive. I kind of want to get rid of this house. Because then I can tie this in here, hopefully. Like that. Do we need to build an overpass again? Maybe that is the easier way to go. Nope, too much slope. And otherwise, if it's not too much slope, it's going to be a collision. There we are. Okay, so that is the newer extension of this neighborhood. This is going to go here. And these are all medium streets, so it's all going to be an opportunity for this place to extend further. I'm going to have a large street go from here to here. So I still have an expansion plan in case this is turning into a sort of ring road as I have with other towns. So this is going to be a new area where these three towns can build. Now it does seem like there is still quite a bit of traffic here. Quite a, people, quite a lot of people want to go to Drachten, which is also merrily on its way to grow to uh, 380. How's the traffic here? Yeah, really, really quite high. Um, let's add another train. Duplicate. No, not duplicate. Just add another carriage here. Puts me down to 162. 210. 
135. Hundred and forty. I just don't hardly have the cash to expend. Um, alternatively, I could get more loan, but I really don't want to be doing that too much. Oh, also something that I did while I was waiting for a bit more cash to come in is do a very small investment here. And from Drachten East, we're now also exporting food to Drachten itself. So Drachten is also going to be growing thanks to food. Unfortunately, it did seem to have stolen a bit from Asse, but Asse is already well on its way. 65 out of 88. And growth projected 548. The station seems relatively busy, but because it's such a long station, and the terminals really have enough room for all these people. The trains, <laughs> not so much. There is just 40 seats on this one. That's the one that's going to go to uh, Bolsvart. There's 90 people waiting. So it's going to be fighting for seats. But, well, people don't really seem to be clamoring to get on this train. And we don't seem to have those people who are pushing additional passengers into the train. That you do see with uh, several, what is it, Asian nations, I think. Now, if I wanted a bigger train over here, a faster one... Other than these M300s, that would probably cost me an arm and a leg. Uh, I need a good speed on them. Let's say 100. So that would already be 8.5 million. Jesus. 12.5 million if you want to use the uh, Mil W class. Lots and lots of power. Now, the thing is, I can just use... Let's say a train of 80 people, sorry, 100 people is 9.6 million. And that's with the M300s that have their engines built in. If I don't have an engine built in and I still want to transport 100 people with a power rating of good, let's see, 100 kph on a passenger vehicle, that could be the Suburban. Uh, light is good. This is 40 tons, 20 tons. 19 passengers, 35 tons. 15 tons for 14 passengers. 40 tons. These things are all so heavy. 40 tons for 20 passengers. So that's about 2 tons a passenger. This is about 1.1 1, 1 .1 ton a passenger, give or take. So let's say I wanted to transport 98. This is 5.8 million. I would then still need to add an engine that can pull all that at a respectable speed. Uh, if I add the... No, that's 70 kph. 120, 100. See, that's 13 million just for that train alone. And that's just the engine. Just the locomotive. Electric is far beyond the budget. Um, the Alco HH600 only has a speed of 80 and would have a power rating of mediocre. <laughs> it still has a power rating of just mediocre. These things are not very not very powerful. So it's, I think, the logical thing to do to go with these M300s because the other alternatives are just not really that feasible. Right. Expansion, expansion, expansion. Next phase of the operation. This side. That's probably going to be one more episode. And then, yeah, Arnhem had already constructed a lot of new residential buildings here. So I'm very sorry, Arnhem, but you're going to have to give up some of that space. Because I need it. Hmm... Set up a station here between Deventer and Zutphen. Connect those with Apeldoorn as well. And then continue on to here. Where we're going to have another train station that's going to be shared by Meppel, Hogeveen and Slagare. And then these are going to come into the station with a short line. So that's probably going to be the next two to three episodes. Quite a bit of logistical planning. Um, when it is eventually done... I'll have a pretty large transport network. Oh crap, there's one more thing I need to do. These areas are still not connected to uh, Schiedam. From here you can get to pretty 
quite a few locations, but it's all South Holland and Amsterdam, or sorry, South Holland and Zeeland. So as the last bit of this episode, I'll go with one more country road. And we're going to drive into there. Where... Oh crap, I don't have enough room here. The Schiedam tram. I want to have a terminal here. Sorry, I need the space. Because the line that I already have set up, which stops... Where was it? Here? Yeah, this one. After stop number four, we're also going to go all the way here and then all the way back. This allows the passengers that I have in all of these towns to also join in with the bigger uh, transport network and especially the trains starting in Schiedam. That's going to mean that Schiedam gets a new influx of passengers, but also everything else. And I think that everything else down here is also going to start growing. So this is quite probably going to mean uh, a lot more profit. And also <laughs> a lot more buses needed here. Let's see, is that affordable at all? 35 only. What I have currently are the Gaganau 40s. Why would I care about these? They have three additional seats, but they're slower. Yeah, I'm still going to need a bigger bus. Right, we'll have to wait until the technology department allows me to build better buses. Until then, they're just going to have to make do with the Gaganau C40s. They probably will get a few more of them. But uh, I think that's the least of my worries. I think the trains need work. But as mentioned, not a priority right now. The priority is northern part of the country. Thank you for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I shall catch you guys soon for the next one.